please help us complete the Before Silicon Valley project. On Cesar Chavez Day, March 31st, 2023, we will launch the Before Silicon Valley project, Mexican Cannery and Agricultural Workers of Santa Clara County, 1920 to 1960. This bilingual website will be hosted by the ACNA Center at the San Jose State University Library. The website will feature an online exhibit and a four-part mini-documentary series that highlights the little documented history of Mexicans in Santa Clara County. With your support, we can finish the last and most significant mini-documentary, Civil Rights, Ernesto Galarza, and the National Farm Labor Union, the GI Forum, the CSO, and the rise of Cesar Chavez. We need $25,000 to complete this episode. We have already completed three mini-documentaries. Here are a few short clips. We landed in Gilroy in 1935. Back then, there was a lot of discrimination. They used to have labor camps for the Mexican people. We'd live in tents, and then we'd go out to work in the fields. The only way you could go to town, a whole bunch of us, 12, 15, or 20, would jump in a truck, and we'd go into town to go to the movies or whatever. But you had to be in a group, otherwise the whites would attack you. wear hairnets. And we had liners and then the rubber gloves. We can burnt fingers because it was hot. The spinach would be cooked and it would come on the conveyor belt and you would grab a bunch in front of you and take the spinach and put it in the cans and then put it in a, a meter and it counted how many cans you did. And you had to make so much your quota. I don't remember what it was. And if you made over your quota, you got like 30 some cents or something like that more on a paycheck. And I'll tell you, you work seven days a week, eight to 10 hours. And by the time you're at the end of the, uh, the week and you got that check, honey, it was beautiful. I ended up with a job at Song Garden Packing Company, Cannery. One of my uncles used to work there and I was on my way, believe it or not, to LA to hook up with Don Tosti at that time. And my uncle says, where are you going? I had a suit on and everything, you know, all classic. Yeah. <laughs> and they, and he says, I says, I'm going to LA, you know, I have to meet a band leader over there. I'm gonna work with him for a while. He says, oh no. He says, see those boxes over there? I said, yeah. That's where you're gonna work right now. I said, oh, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to LA, you're not going any place. You're gonna go to work. From that day until the day I retired in 1992. Before Silicon Valley, Santa Clara County was the largest fruit producing and processing region in the United States. Although Mexicans provided a majority of the labor force for this cannery and agricultural center, little of this history is in books, archives, or on the internet, and few materials have been digitized. That is why all of the materials collected in our research will be donated to the ACNA Center and accessible to the public at the end of the project. We appreciate the many people who have already contributed their stories, photos, and funds to support our project. We thank our sponsor, San Jose Parks Foundation, and our collaborators, San Jose State Library, ACNA Center, and the Arhuli Foundation. Please contribute and help us reach our $25,000 goal and share and follow our project online. And once again, with your help, we will complete the Before Silicon Valley Project.